see me. Hello. <laughs> it doesn't show me on YouTube, but it looks like you guys can see me. So weird. Sorry, I keep starting and stopping. I don't know. All right. Hello. Hi, Cheyenne. Hi, Malin. Hi, Ida. How are you guys? <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me let me make sure I've got the right chat up here. So weird. I just want to sew, you know? <laughs> okay, cool. Let's see here. Yeah, I don't see me on um on YouTube, but tell me if you can see me. Can you guys see me on YouTube? Hi Terry. You're early today. You're right on time. I'm having trouble. I, I don't see my stream on YouTube at all, so I'm really glad you guys can see it because it sounds like you can. Can you? Let me know if you can. I don't see the chat. I see you chat on the other window, but not this one. So weird. Hmm. You can see, you can only see me on Twitch. Okay. Ida can see me on Twitch. All right, I am trying to figure this out. Hmm, I don't really know how to troubleshoot this one. Cause when I'm done on YouTube and I say um, end, like when I end it, it says that it, it happened. So it's really weird. Did I set some weird like stream options, public, hmm. I don't know what to do. Hi. Cheyenne, can you see me? Terry? You're watching on YouTube? Okay. Hi, Leslie. Ida, they say they can see me on YouTube. I can't see myself on there. That's so weird. Okay, well, um, I, I guess I'll go forward. It makes me a little nervous because it's like, I hope I'm really there. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Um, yeah, I just do not see me. I'm going to go to my other. I think this link might not be working, so let's see. Oops. I'm typing. Sorry. <laughs> let's see if I can find it um, in a different way. But I don't want to hear anything. So I hope this is muted. Mute, mute, mute. Okay. Let's see here. Am I showing on here? Hi, Brooke. Can you see me, Brooke? It says I'm live now on there, but uh, and that six people are watching, but I do not see my stream on YouTube. So tell me if you, me too what, Cheyenne? You see, okay. All right, so I can't see myself, but you guys can. So I'm just gonna, um, you really could. Okay, I can't get it to, okay, I'm sorry. All right, so um, sorry for all of you re-watching this later on. And um, you now you're like, what's going on here? All right, I still need to clean my glasses. So I think I have a, a kind of an interesting thing today. I don't know if you guys are gonna be into it or not, but I set up my home sewing machine to for when we sew the invisible zipper on and um, because you know I just kind of want to make sure I'm doing like the best and easiest way and I feel like everyone would rather it be sewn on the home machine I mean obviously my my industrial machine is not too thrilled with the um, invisible zipper right so I figure I set it up and we'll see it's uh, like I, the camera has to be really close I'll show I'll give you a little sneak peek of it so I've got it all set up right there so perfect okay it was acting weird when you first tried to watch yeah see I can't see me on, at all on YouTube I can see me just fine on uh, on uh, in Twitch, but I can't see it on on YouTube and it says I'm logged in so we'll just move forward and hope the best it just shows my like my thumbnail on there for me so I'm really glad you guys can see me all right so this is coming together really well I'm really excited about this dress so we have the bodice mostly complete and we're going to put on the skirt today and the pockets and the invisible zipper and the hem we can do it right so let's get to it I'm excited 
So let's assemble our pockets and our zipper. I mean, our pockets and our skirt. I am um, trying to decide, like, I, I can do, um, hi, Veronica. Hello, all. Thanks for putting up with my limited video making skills. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I always envy those people that have like someone in their life that's like in the background doing everything for for them like on this side not everything but a lot of it you know like their husband their wife their friend or whatever all right so let's put in the um you know what I was gonna look at I was gonna look at this little tutorial in the needle sharp box we're giving away let's see if I can reach it can I reach it? Oh, I'm losing everything in here. Yeah, because remember where's this really great little handout? Let's look at it. Look at how lovely those pictures are. Wrong size together, quarter inch seam allowance. Oh, they, okay, she leaves it open. Trim your seam only between the stitch line. Fresh pocket. Look at that. See, it's like this is how I originally learned how to sew pockets. I haven't seen it done like this in a really long time. Okay. I should probably see this price. Let's see. Let's stitch between the notches. Oh, she does a French seam there as well. Lovely. Oh. Okay. Mark your first pivot point. Stitch the entire side seam. Hello, Jan. How's it going? She does it a little differently than me, but hers looks better than mine. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Because I'm always like, wait, how do I do this again? So let's see here. We have our right side, and that's a wrong side. I'll try and do the full French seam on the joining seam as well. I mean, that would be true to doing it properly, correct, right? Let's see, I can't tell the right and wrong side of the fabric when it's on the, um, when it, most of this is this color. Kind of funny, huh? All right, so mine goes all the way up to the waist seam because I like it when my pockets are anchored at the waistline. And, um, and then that way they always stay forward, you know? Like the, the dress I'm wearing right now, the pockets are a little lower and so they can flop to the back. And so sometimes like I'll sit on the, on the contents of what's in my pocket. I know you know what I mean, you know? All right, so we might be getting into the point where I need the other color thread too. Hmm, should we switch? Let's switch. Let's switch. It always throws me off when I have technical difficulties. Let's gonna use this one. It's kind of a cheater thread color. Where's my spool? I'm wearing my uh, Don't Rush My Summer dress. Cause you know, I started like pining for cooler weather and, and cooler nights, but you know, I just like to be in the moment and enjoy the summer because in the winter I'll be missing wearing dresses and stuff. And it's just so much easier to get dressed in the morning when it's hot out, you know? Oh, you got your first order from PDF plotting? Awesome. What I recommend is unrolling it and laying them face down. So like against the curve kind of make them calm down and they will they'll calm down pretty quick because they were probably just rolled up well that's not technically true they were just rolled up but the thing is the paper was on a roll when it before it was printed oof that was a struggle I didn't trim that first <laughs> you guys all saw it I'm sure all right a little sample fabric it's so much nicer when I just have one sitting there waiting because then I do it you know all right pockets wrong side together first wrong side together first and she said I'm gonna try and do it her way 
She says do it. Um, so a quarter inch seam allowance starting five eighths inch from the top of the pocket edge. Okay. So is that the pocket edge opening or, you know, I'm just gonna do my opening. Because mine goes all the way to the waist. So I don't really need to um, stop at the top, you know? You getting ready to do that? Yeah. The, the curly pattern pieces are so annoying, you know? I'm gonna sew one. No, I'm not gonna sew one. I'm gonna sew these all like this and then we'll get to it. Why do I have that? I did my little sample sewing. This is always like, you know, when you first change your um, bobbin, this is what I get. Look at that, the tension's not good there. I'm just gonna take it out right there. So you guys, um, you know how I was telling you about my, my reunion and the dress code, the color code thing? So I went and looked for some fabric and I actually had like Brooke's idea of doing like white eyelet over Kelly green. I actually have that here. I have the white eyelet and I went online and I was looking for some fabric for one of the Monetta's because I have one left that I need fabric for. I have, no, I need, I need fabric for both. And so I um, went online, I was looking and I found fabric that is so perfect for my high school reunion that I'm bucking the, I'm bucking the dress code for one of the days because it has, um, it's in my school colors and it has um, my school mascot on it. <laughs> this is so nerdy, right? <laughs> I'll show it to you when it's done. It's gonna be amazing. I told my friend Lawrence and he was like, yeah, whatever. You know. He tolerates me. I tolerate the fact that he did, doesn't know anything about Harry Potter. It works, you know. He's a muggle. What are you gonna do? Muggles are people too, you know. All right. Um, I'm just gonna have faith in this whole method and commit completely to it. So all my pockets with this first stitch. And then, um, and then I'm gonna iron them and then do that, so. So here's the deal though. I gotta think about this um, invisible zipper. So typically what I do is I kind of wimp out um, on the side that has the zipper. I don't put the pocket in. That's what I've done traditionally. I have put in a, an invisible zipper with the pocket. It was totally fine. I just don't remember how I did the seam allowance. You know, when you don't get to sew a bunch of them, you just, it's hard to remember how you did it, you know? And it's, it's not like I have instructions for this. I'm just kind of trying to apply some of the things I know to this already. So let's see, I'm lining up this, and I've been just sewing my quarter inch seam allowance between the opening, which is where that notch is right there. You can kind of see it wrong sides together because this will get enclosed in the next step. I'm trying to do it really close so I don't actually have to trim. Oh, I just stopped perfectly. All right. I know there's probably a proper way to do it all. I just didn't really look it up. Because sometimes you just got to figure it out and then you learn more. It sinks in better. And if it's logical to me now, it'll hopefully stick for later sewing. You know what I mean? That wasn't, this wasn't accurate enough, even by my standards. <laughs> so what are you guys all up to? You guys are gonna have to chat with me today since I can't tell if I'm actually still streaming or not. You have to, you have to reassure me. <laughs> I'll have to delete the other false start videos. I already did that one. All right, I'm gonna switch to the iron now.
You're winding off. Your, I knew you'd say that, Brooke. That's so funny. You used to listen to audiobooks and get all those books read until I came along, huh? All right, so when I do my next step, I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to do the same thing with this. to think about the pocket. You know, I might wimp out again. I, I, I don't want to take up an hour trying to figure it out and that's kind of where this could go. Is this the um, right? This is the right side. So it's going to be this side. So this one is going to stay. The other one's not going to. I'd rather spend the time today on the invisible zipper. You know, then trying to figure out a French seam, side seam pocket with an invisible zipper. <laughs> it just sounds complicated just saying that. I'm cramping your reading style. I knew it. <laughs> oh, awesome, Terry. I'm so glad about that coat. I can't wait to hear about it. You're snapping green beans for dinner. Yum. Oh, Melin, you're already almost done with your estuary. That's really cool. Where's my other one? Here it is. Okay, so this is the right side of the garment. And this side is going to maintain the pocket. So this one's going to keep the pocket over here. Okay. The other one I'm going to take out. take out the other side. Oh, you watch it. Oh, I haven't I haven't seen those. That's awesome, Melin. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, I hear really great things about her. I mean, she's just really well loved, you know? That's always such a good sign. That someone's gonna be pretty approachable, you know. I'm going to take this side out. I have done this before. I don't remember what dress I did it on. It wasn't the Myrna. And I don't think it was the Upton either. I don't think it was the one I did on stream, actually, was it? So you guys, um, oh yeah, that's a good question, Terry. I was thinking about the one that I have, like, in two weeks, I have two streams devoted to pattern drafting. One is devoted, I think, mostly to sewing steps and the other to pattern drafting. I think I'm going to make that one focused on how to copy a favorite garment. That's awesome, Brooke. Hi, Nancy. That's awesome, Malin. I should check out her video. I don't want to taint, like... I don't want to like keep steal from her, but it would be really great to see like what steps, what she starts with. You know what I mean? Hi, Lisa. How's it going? All right, so I'm gonna get rid of this side, and we'll just do one one side seam pocket because of the invisible zipper. Because I want to spend time on the invisible zipper part on my other machine, which we've never sewed on together. Except like maybe one time I did some buttons or buttonholes or something. And I just stole the pattern drafting camera, the pattern table camera. So that actually worked really good. I mean, it's kind of close. <laughs> but you kind of have to be because of the, um, the machine head's a little different. I don't know what it is. It's like this one's nice and tapered and that one's much blockier, you know? You want to know how to copy a garment? Is that a lot of people have a garment that they just really, really love. I do too, you know, and they want to copy it, right? And they want to make, I mean, this is really common with pants. Um, you have a pair of pants and you really want to have another pair just like it. The only danger, I'm going to warn you guys with 
copying things, especially something you've worn a lot, is that it naturally gets a little stretched out and, and, and broken in. <laughs> nice. Yeah, she, uh, yeah, you, you post pictures of your makes, right, Malin? So, Ray, I don't know if you know it, but we have a um, very low-key Facebook group. If you're on Facebook, I admit I'm not on there very much, and I try to be on just to check out what you guys are doing. It's called So So Sewists, and then um, I think if you just look up So So Live and Sarah Me Duffy, you'd find it, and then you ask to join the group, and then I approve it. And you can then, if, if you're not on Instagram or you don't want to post pictures of yourself to a lot of people, you can um, do it there. It's more private. It's a private group. So, it, it, you know. You can hide it even from your family members, you know. Oh, that's awesome, Ida. Hi, Elaine. How's it going? All right, so now I'm just stitching them right sides together. A little bit over a quarter of an inch. The whole seam allowance is 5 eighths. So by the time you do a quarter and a quarter, sometimes it ends up being 5 eighths anyway. Because, you know, we've trimmed a little, it's kind of wrapping around the edge, you know, all that hoo-ha. See right there, that's because it wasn't clipped the same amount. So remember, I did it my, my pocket opening, not what the, um, not the other, not the, um, the way she has it, because the, the way pocket she's showing you in the picture is one that is like lower on the side seam. So, all right, so these are, let's do wrong sides together. It's a lot of skirt, you guys. <laughs> wrong sides together. Hmm, okay, yeah, yeah, so the, if I have it this way, See, I'm not an expert on everything. I just wing things sometimes and it, and it works out. See, you know, I actually think here, I should have just gone all the way up because I just need to stitch this down a little bit for the opening, you know what I mean? Because look, here I am, I'm kind of back in that same place of trying to get it to do the, to do the exact same seam. So let's see here. I'm just gonna pull out a little bit of this one here so I have room and then I'll kind of continue what I've already sewn right here. Because mine goes all the way up to the waist seam. I probably could have just done that and then I'll create the side seam by just stitching inside my um, French seam. I'll show you in a second. So here I'm gonna finish off this now my French seam goes all the way up to the waist. All right. Yeah, you guys are always welcome to share your Instagrams and chat. I don't consider that like self promotion. I know a lot of streamers have problems with that, but um, I, you know, I'm all about you guys connecting, you know. All right, take, I'm gonna take a few stitches on this side. Get it wrong sides together all the way up. So I have, uh, I have to make a sample for my sewing class. I mean, I have an idea. I think I'm gonna go to a, a antique store and look for an old quilt that's falling apart. Oh, look at that. I did that kind of badly, you see that? Oh, did I do it the wrong? <laughs> I just did it the wrong way. I'm pretty sure I did it the wrong way. Let's take, I'm gonna take this out and see. Right? Or did I just catch it? Oh, that's what I did. Oh, okay, okay, I'm okay. I just, I just didn't sew very accurately right there, you see that? Okay, now, get that, see? 
There we go. Let me fix that. I should give myself a little bit more room. Just pull out a few more stitches. All right. This is when I start hearing the like music from the Wizard of Oz and the, the Wicked Witch and her little bicycle. This is that. That's what I think of when I start getting in a little bit of trouble. <laughs> Does anything ever pop into your guys' head like that? You're like, I don't even really like that movie. I know it's blasphemy, but it's uh, it, it was kind of a stressful movie when I was a kid. Like, I didn't understand all of what was going on, you know? I don't really like the way this looks. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do a little bit more. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's awesome. Are you on Instagram, Ray? I find Instagram to be so helpful. All right, I'm just, I'm just gonna see this like little mess I've got going on here. I'm just smoothing it out. I'm being a little picky. My thread seems kind of um, thick. So my daughter is going to like a festival in the San Francisco Bay Area this weekend. And she needs a bag, you know, that... Oh, those monkeys fall... Yeah, I've heard that from a lot of people, Jan. That those monkeys really scared people. I didn't even remember them. The whole thing was stressful for me. I don't know why. Um, a lot of those older movies, though. Let's be honest. A lot of those new, new movies. Like, I can't even look at the cover of a Dumbo thing. You know, it's like... That should, movie should have never been made. And then they remade it recently. And I was like, nope. Nope. Um, so I have to make, I'm, my, like, she has to, con if she brings a bag into the grounds, I'm sure you guys have heard this, it has to, like, conform to certain guidelines for security. And, um, and of course, I'm already really nervous about her going to something like this right now. And there is a lot of security there, but, you know. So, um, so yeah, so I'm making her bag, but, um, I found, uh, I, I have, you know, that like grid of looks like paint chips, um, the color swatch wall I have on, on the behind me when I'm streaming at the pattern table, that big spoon flowers color grid. I have another one of those, um, from before and I'm going to use that because she's really into painting right now. It looks like paint chips and she actually picked it too. Yeah. Yeah, right, Brooke? Oh my gosh. I've told have I told you my ET story? Yeah, Bambi was a big nope. You know, when I saw Bambi when Cricket was little, it wasn't as bad as I remember at all. But when I was a kid, I my mom loves um books with animals in it, like The Incredible Journey, Old Yeller, Black Stallion. She would read all those to me and I was just like, if it has animals in it, I don't want to read it. I don't want to watch it. I, it was 100% a big fat nope for me as a kid and she would still be like, but it always ends up happy. It, it really, even to this day, I'm just like, no, I still don't, I don't, I will just skip whole chapters if there's a horse being, you know, mistreated or something, you know? Sorry, I'm getting a little off track here. And, and uh, when E.T. came out, I think I was 13, something like that. And my mom and my stepdad and I went, I don't even know if my brother and sister were, my sister, I don't even know if my sister was born yet. So I'm doing this right, wrong sides together now. A little less than a quarter inch seam so I don't have to trim. And I said, I don't want to see that. It's a sad animal movie. That's what I call those sad animal movie. I don't want to see a sad animal movie. And she's like, it's an alien. It's not even an animal. I'm all, it doesn't matter. At some point, it's going to be really sad and I don't want to watch it. And she was like, this is going to be a really big movie. Whatever. They took me. You know, like I didn't want to. And then she took me. And then the whole, the movie was so packed that my dad couldn't sit with us. He had to sit on the other side of the theater against the wall. And we were sitting on the other side from him, the other side of the theater against the wall. That's how late we got there. And 
you know, there he is laying in the like uh, the riverbed, which looks like the gutter. You know, like if you're from Southern California, that's the riverbed. What's concrete, you know? <laughs> and um, he's all pasty white, and the whole theater is dead quiet. And I'm bawling, like I'm like, <laughs> you know, like that kind of like hiccuping. And I was like, I told you it would be sad. And the whole theater starts laughing, which it, to me wasn't funny at all. It didn't make me crack a smile. I was mad. And my mom was embarrassed that I did it and everything. And oh my God, you guys. I'm not liking how I set this up at all. I think I'm going to, you know what, you guys, I did this wrong. I did this, I'm doing this wrong. I'm just gonna stop right here. Because of the style pocket I picked, her directions are perfect. I'm just applying them to the wrong pocket style right now. I need to do what I just did to the top. Pretty sure, so. Yeah, right? Mm. <laughs> right, I know. I know. You know, and like my friend Kirby, when we went to Harry Potter World, she's like, let's go on the E.T. ride. I was like, <laughs> I, she's a lot younger than me, a lot younger. And I was like, you know, like E.T. to her is like cute and um, quaint and vintage. And I was like, nope. <laughs> it's going to be sad. <laughs> I'm still like, my. I think even to this day, my mom just is like, I will stop uh, trailers on TV if they're, if, yeah, any dog movie, nope. Benji, she wanted to see Benji, Boomer, Lassie, all those movies when I was a kid. And I was just like, I do not want to see these. She still loves those movies. Still hate them. And my daughter would like bring home library books and it would be like, one time she brought home The Black Stallion and, and it was my night to read. And I was like, okay, so what books did you get from the library? And then um, she showed me, I was like, oh, honey, I, I didn't know how to, t I didn't want to like make, I didn't want to like make her feel the same way I did about those things. And I just said, you know, I think dad would be better <laughs> to read this one, you know? Oh yeah. I'm using my steamer for a lot today already. I had a rough start. <laughs> so, um, yeah, she doesn't feel the same way I do, thankfully. And she's a big animal lover, but she doesn't have the kind of like, I abhor those movies. She doesn't feel that way, thankfully. But yeah. <laughs> well, Terry, I, am I really doing that great? Nancy just put in the command for drinking. She's already starting the drinking game. It's 11.37 a.m., so. 37 into my, minutes into my stream. I've started it three times and we're already drinking. So I don't know, Terry. Are you really sure I'm doing a good job here? <laughs> I should have just put on the, like, instead of the makers and crafting category, I put the, the IRL, the in real life just chatting, chatting category today, right? All right, so I'm obviously figuring this out on the fly. Louise would love this. You can kind of see, just so you know, like I noticed it. I don't know if you can see because I'm closer. But you can kind of see right here is where I notched. See that? And it is creeping in. My notch was a little deep. It is creeping into the seam allowance. That's fine to me. That is not going to compromise the garment. You know, would I be graded down for that? Yeah. If they noticed it, yeah. So I'm going to go all the way down. Oh, little magic girl, right? Is that the one with the, the little girl who's like living on the streets? Right? Like, oh. right, Ida? Oh, I know. I know. I know. And um, the other one is uh, we, we didn't have one of those American Girl dolls. But our friends did, and you know, they come with books. They all have these stories. And the stories are actually, they're really amazing because they're very historically accurate depictions of immigrant children coming to the United States way back when it was being settled, you know? So they'll be like, oh, the, the, the little Swedish girl, and she settled in Minnesota. You know, it's like very historically accurate to the region to what they went through you know and some of those whew, 
You know, like they could have killed off their whole family to malaria and I was fine. But the second their dog was lost overboard in the ship, I was a wreck, you know? It, it'd be like that, you know? So don't get me wrong. Humans mean a lot to me, but it's like animals, man. I'm just trimming it anyway. I said I was going to need to, but I didn't, it wasn't lined up perfectly and I can tell it's a little fuzzy, you know? All right, so let's see, am I back on track here? Yeah, all right. <laughs> right, she loved it. I am, I know, right, Louise? Oh, and she freezes to death? Oh my God. That sounds like an American girl story. Uh, let's see. Am I pushing the seam allowance? Aren't I clipping it? Why do I figure this out every single time, you guys? I am going to clip it. I'm going to clip it here, too. I am. Uh, Louise, this is my don't rush summer statement. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's interesting because, um, you know, I told you guys I have this little, like, gaming account on Twitter for, for so I can kind of keep up with what's going on in that world. And I don't post anything. I don't have my name on there. I don't have anything. So it's purely just, like, an anonymous little account so I can follow game companies and news and stuff like that. And um, lately, some of these streamers are getting called out for essentially abusing their animals on stream and they're just like i wasn't abusing them i just tossed my cat because i was mad you know stuff like that and they're like full on getting the PETA investigation the police department aspca i mean they are no one is taking it lightly and it's it's so awesome to see and i i can't look at much of it and it's just like i think i see like they're like the fringes of it because um, it'll just be like someone retweeting tweeting it like, ooh, dang, another one of these streamers, man. You know, it'll be like this cute girl streamer and then all of a sudden she's uploading the wrong video. Like she for, she missed a, mixed up her videos and it's uploading the wrong one to YouTube and everyone's like, uh, I don't think that's the one you meant to upload. So thankfully they are and they're getting called out for it. I don't know, Terry. I'm not sure how good I'm doing here. I think this is like the worst attempt I've had at doing a um, French seam side seam pocket. <laughs> All right. Okay, so up on the top. Let's see here. Now I'm a little lost. All right, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. So I'm going to do this. I think I'm gonna press this seam. Yeah, exactly. And you know what's great is seeing people of that age, their peers calling them on it. You know, I feel like that kind of um, balance is is great. You know. <laughs> all right. You haven't been sewing at all lately, Nancy? That's okay. It's kind of hot. You know. All right. Did I trim this close enough? That's what I'm wondering right here. I clipped it, but I'm not sure I clipped it close enough right here at this juncture at the bottom of the pocket. It looks like I might have. Great. And I'll show you. I only clipped about right into this seam allowance right here. I'm going to make it look less confusing. So here's my pocket coming around my pocket right here. And there's my side seam. That's the little phrase from my French seam right there. And I just clipped into this seam allowance right here at that corner. And it seems like it'll be enough for me to do the French seam without it pulling. Pretty close. All right. Your stash and your plans have become large. 
Are you feeling overwhelmed like you've bit off more than you can chew? When I, I feel that way a lot, um, and then what I do is I, I kind of organize things. I try and narrow my scope down really quick and you're like, you know, prioritize, okay, this, you know, oh, I, ha I just like bought all this fabric to make a bathing suit. I don't need a bathing suit until next year. Let's put that aside, you know? And, um, and then like, okay, fall's coming, so let's pull out the fall things. And then I kind of start trying to group things. Or I just tell myself, you don't have to plan all these out. Just plan the one that you're going to do the soonest, you know? And the thing that you can't stop thinking about the most, do that, do that soonest. Because otherwise you're, you're just going to feel like overwhelmed. I do that all the time. I'm like, oh, I feel so overwhelmed right now. I have all these things to do. And all I'm thinking about is doing this other thing. And I just do it. I have to do it. Otherwise, I'm, I'll be half productive on all the other things I need to do until I get it out of my system. You know what I mean? Yeah. You just keep buying patterns, exactly. Well, do something with your patterns, like organize them, like put them on Trello or, or make a little filing system and, you know, be the boss of them. Don't be overwhelmed with them. And you can always, like, maybe participate in a fabric or a pattern swap if you're willing to let go of some of them. You could always um, organize your patterns by oh, you know, these are ones I'm not sure I want, and just set them aside, and maybe you'll want them later. It might make you feel better, like, okay, I just made my stash a little smaller, but I didn't really let go of those things quite yet. Those are thread, like, that's a sewing, th oh, it just came out, oh, okay, okay. I was going to cut up with my scissors. So right here at the side seam, I'm just going to stitch it down to where about the opening mark was. And then that will get that back on track right there. Let's just look and see how this looks right here. It's pretty good. I'm going to press the seam. Um, what happened here? Wait, 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 did I forget to finish this right here? Eek! What the heck? You guys, I forgot to finish this. All right, well, we'll finish that in a second. All righty. I'm trying to press this seam towards the pocket and I can't get it on its own. There we go. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, right, exactly. I, you know, to be honest, you guys, I was feeling the exact same way. And then when I decided to do, um, you know, everyday streaming for August, it ended up alleviating my brain on the project side because I was like, you know, it's like Hearts isn't like, hey, you need to get these done at all. You know, they're really chill about it. Um, and um, but at the same time, I hadn't done one of theirs in a while, and I was feeling kind of like, oh, shoot, <laughs> I'm neglecting them because it wasn't working out with my schedule. All right, I'm going to try and fix this little seam right here that I didn't finish. And, you know, I definitely lapsed on my needle sharp boxes because I would forget about them and like they're organized differently in here. I think this is going to work out. Let's see. Oh yeah, okay, that's gonna work out. I'm gonna trim this down right here. That's where I clipped into the side seam, so it's like subject to a few little clips, and so now it's kind of like, you know, not wanting to lay flat. 
Let's see. And this is still going to be okay now that that's sewn, right? I think so. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, just chipping away. I love, um, oh, you lost your pattern, Nancy? <laughs> Do you have it maybe paired with something else? That's a bummer. I'm going to make one of those the first week in September with you guys. The Kilo wrap dress. I lost a pattern piece of my, um, which one is it? The Oh, the Chantilly, the Colette Chantilly. That's another dress I really love. And I lost the front pattern piece, and I've had to redraft it. It's not quite the same. It's fine, but it's not, you know, it's not the same. Kind of a bummer. I lost one whole pattern piece. I probably just threw it right away by accident. Yeah, Ray, exactly, Ray. Oh, I saw that, Louise. Is it $10 off or 10% off? Yeah, that's pretty cool. I was kind of surprised I've never seen her, um, you know, a sponsor. I don't see her sponsor things. So it's a good sign she's doing really good. She doesn't need to. So that's pretty cool. I got a little, did you see when I got to the juncture there of the pocket to the skirt, I started sewing it like it's not a French seam. I was like, oh, I need to go up and down. And I was like, oh, shoot. I just made that a little wider than it should be. See, I started to go, I was about to go like up here <laughs> because, you know, I need to like make the opening the right width. Now I'm going to do that. Okay, so I really want these seams to be stacked directly on top of each other right here, the, um, where the pocket opening is. I can see where my notch is since it came through. And now I'm going to do the same at the top. Yeah, it really is a, a, a fun way to, you know, get the fabric and the pattern for something that you might not ever have access to or notice. You know, like you, the fabric she gets are, you know, she sources them in New York City. It looks like she's always going on fabric buying trips. Why is this so wiggly? I probably just need to have them come into my machine. And, um, you know, some of the patterns I've never heard of. So that that's, you know, it's a really good way to get some diversity and into your sewing and open you up to new things. Okay, that was the longest freaking pocket ever. Let's see how it looks. Um... There's the front, so it goes. <laughs> Wait a minute. Please tell me. Oh my god. Did I did I really do the wrong one? Oh my god. I'm about to lose it. I did. I I actually did. So you know what we'll do? We'll just put this front skirt on the back and the back and <laughs> it looks nice. I literally, right, that, there's the back, because look, I checked it, I even checked it, but look, see, this is where my zipper goes. So you know how we fix that? We just go like this. That's the new front of the garment. <laughs> Let's see if it's going to uh, hang okay. Whoops. All right, this is my new front, right? <laughs> oh, brother. Right, that's the, uh, yeah, yeah, there we go. So now what I'm worried about is that my, um, Waists won't match. There's a really distinct possibility that they won't. 
yeah. <sighs> you guys, I really, I really cucked that up. Look at that. Yeah, it was easy fix, but it doesn't really fix it. Oh, man. All right, so that's my, right? Let's see. Okay, so here's my side seam. And see, it's pretty different. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> right, Terry? I know. I, you know, it's interesting because every day I stream, I actually don't worry about making mistakes. I know a lot of people kind of probably find that surprising. When I first started streaming, I did. I was like, what if I make mistakes and people don't think I can pull it off, you know? And, you know, I stopped worrying about that. I stopped worrying about if people would tune in. I stopped worrying about that. I think really what I worry about is technical difficulties, you know, for the most part. And, you know, because those are the things I don't understand how to fix. They're the unknown. I have to become left-handed. You know, honestly, that is an excellent idea. Moen, you may have nailed it on. You may have nailed that. All right. Yeah, because you know what I'd have to fix is a minimum. I I literally could do that. It's what do I want to take out? Yeah, it's what do I want to take out? Like I could take out this and sew up my side seam. Yeah? What would I rather take out? I would rather take that out. What do you guys think? Yeah, so then I would... Um... <laughs> but I'm hot now. <laughs> I know, right, Jan? Exactly. Exactly. Okay, so I think Melinda has a really great idea. I am now left-handed. My husband's left-handed. He'll love this because because sometimes I'll see him writing and I'll be like, you know, it's easier with your right hand. I'll just tease him about it. So let's do it. Why not, right? There's nothing that says it has to be. Yeah, but that'll be okay, Brooke. I can either leave it and we can just see if we can set in the zipper without um, taking out the binding or I just pop out the binding right there because this is the start and stop right here of the binding. See? All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Um, this is a lot less to take out and a lot easier to fix. Right? It's live theater. <laughs> you're a lefty Jan you're like well I would have done it this way anyway so <laughs> all right so let's see let's not be hasty here I'm doing my hasty seam ripping which is not a good idea let's take out this waist seam right here this could not have been an easier thing for me to make because I've made three of them and I have definitely had some hiccups along the way Right? Losing my touch. Yeah, also I was gonna ask you guys about the tamarack. I was thinking about taking an old quilt and making my sample for the tamarack out of an old quilt. Um, and, and you know, I don't, but I don't wanna, hi Kara, good morning. Um, I don't wanna like, I don't want to commit blasphemy against quilts. You know, like I can see quilters being like, oh, you cut up an old quilt. Well, Lisa or Barbara, everything happened. <laughs> Wait, what, what did Lisa say? 
Oh, it feels better. Yeah, exactly. So um, I just was really, really careful and apparently not careful enough about putting my inseam, side seam pocket on the skirt. I made it a French seam as well, which I kind of botched a few times because I was following these excellent instructions and then I realized these instructions won't work for my pocket style. So I got it in there. It looks pretty good considering I took out a few things. And then even though I was really careful about putting it on the correct side of the garment, I still put it on the wrong side of the garment. So now I just became a lefty. Congrats to me, right? <laughs> and so, um, I decided, Malin had the excellent idea of, well, you're just gonna have to be left-handed now. So I'm just gonna put the invisible zipper on my right side and and then my skirt is fine. Because the thing is, I could have just pushed the pocket towards the other skirt and called the front the back and the back the front, but they don't, they don't match the um, bodice by a long shot. So my side seam would be like really off from my bodice and it wouldn't, yeah, it would just, I can't do that. I'd rather be left-handed, you know? I have to have my husband help me zip me up sometimes anyway. <laughs> I hate it when he's not there. <laughs> I hate it when he's not there and I wear the Amelia. Now that I know I can just put the Amelia on over my head, it's changed everything. The Upton's really hard too because it's a center back zipper, you know? <laughs> Awesome, Nancy. Thank you. That's what I needed to hear. I was thinking I, be, I hope I can find one that I can afford, you know? <laughs> You're going to watch this entire stream, right? At least you can pause and rewind and fast forward. All right, so here we go. This is what I got so far. It's my yoke, my yoke. Okay, and now I'm going to take out the um, side seam here. Get it going. All right. Oh yeah, exactly. That's what I was thinking, Lynn. I'm gonna go this afternoon and look around for one. It kind of made me excited because the idea of sewing and quilting an entire tamarack um, like instantly right now so I can have a store sample for my class was a little daunting. Like I could do it, but I also don't want a whole nother tamarack really because I really like mine um, and I don't really need another one. But this I think would be kind of cool. I want to make myself a vest. Um, it goes on the left because this is my left side. This is my right hand. It's easier, supposedly. But yeah, I mean, really, that's fine, too. It's just traditional. You're right, Barbara. I'm still right-handed. Gosh darn it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go up part of the way. I have a feeling I'm going to have to... I don't... Maybe I'm not. I may have to take this out and, and do that, but um, I've put in invisible zippers with a, a closed top. <laughs> I air zipped. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking, Barbara. Wouldn't that be cool if you found one that, I, I just hope I find one in a color scheme I like. <laughs> I know I'm getting picky, but. You know, sometimes even if it's like, um, you know, a sample and someone else isn't going to make theirs look like yours, it can still make an impact on if someone's interested in making the garment because they may not even give it a second glance if it's not in a color they like, right? Yeah, World Peas. Hi. Um, kind of. We should do some outdoor wear. I have a lot of experience with that. And I like it. I like sewing for it. All right, I'm going to uh, fix these pieces here now. Sew them up. Right? Wait. Oh, I sewed those all in one uh, go. That's right. Didn't I? Didn't I? Yeah, I did. I sewed these all in like a sandwich, so it's gonna be a little harder to get to my um, seam there. Not sure I can do it. 
Let's see. I need, let me think about this here. Because I did this all as one seam, this whole sandwich right here, see, yoke, midriff thingy to bodice. Joining up with this seam right here and getting it nice and smooth is a little trickier. And then I unthread my needle. Oh, I think I did did it. Did I just get it? And then I didn't now I got it. That's funny. <laughs> I don't know about a puffy vest. I saw on a fabric website yesterday, I was looking at either Hearts or Stone Mountain. I think Stone Mountain. They have an organic cotton um, Sherpa. You know, like fleece, like fuzzy fleece. I thought that would be kind of cool. So doing that kind of... Um, not puffy as in down, but puffy as in like soft fleecy lining. I, I have a, I have pretty strict rules about that kind of um, fabric in my shop though. All right, I think I got it. Let's not cut the fabric. I feel like this thing is cursed. Maybe it's this fabric, you guys. This fabric is always giving me trouble. Whatever I sew it in, always has some interesting woes. Oh, that's the print. I thought that was a thread and I was trying to get it. Okay. So now I have, this is separate, right? I'm a little confused. Oh, I could have still, um, oh, I could have still done it the other way. I could still do it this way. Yeah, okay. I don't need, because I'm not clean finishing the inside. Okay, great. All right, I'm just going to attach all this together. I just need the side seam open now. That's all. That's the only difference. I'm not going to clean finish my um, zipper so that the lining is... Um, covering up the zipper tape on the inside of the garment. I did set it up for that. And I lined my bodice as if I was keeping it as one layer with that intent. I wasn't trying to make it you know, more complicated, in other words. All right, so I'm just gonna open all these out here. A Boro Tamarack, ooh. Oh, right, Nancy, exactly. I actually thought about, um, yeah, exactly. Yeah, Brooke knows. I have pretty strict rules about, there's no fake fur, minky, or burlap allowed in my shop. Okay, this is the yoke, right? Okay. Making sure that's not the side seam. I'm not sewing it right back up. Don't you love it when you spend a ton of time ripping out a seam and then you sew it right back up? Have you done that? I have done that a few times. I'm like, what the heck did I just do here? Okay, so now I am back on track, I think. Except for the fact that, you know, I have to set the zipper into this, all this up here. Then I'm down for it. All right. Okay. Now I just need to, now I can finish up this side seam over here. Right? And... We can do what we were doing before, right, right? Wait, wait, how did I do that? How did I do that? <laughs> I don't remember how I did that. That's so funny. Did I leave this open and set, how did I do that? How did I get this nice clean finish? I don't even remember how I did that. That was so funny. All right, so let's see. This is the outside. This is the inside. Like, how did I get that one clean finished when I have the yoke like this? <laughs> I'm going crazy. 
I mean, I have an idea of how I just did it, but I'm gonna have to watch my video too. All right, I'm gonna do this clean finish for a little of the way, and then I'll pick it up and. How did I do that? Minky free zone, totally. Shoot, I'm just about to just do a French theme. Well, I'm done with these shenanigans. Doing a French theme. That's it. But it's gonna bug me. So if it was sewn like this, it was sewn like that, how did I do that? It's like magic. You're just lost the sewing part. I know, right? When I start taking things apart, it's kind of, it's kind of bad. I don't blame you, Lisa. We'll be back on track soon. I'm just going to do a French seam here. I want to make sure I get my yoke seam lined up. Had I known where this was going. <laughs> This is what I would have done anyway if I hadn't lined the bodice, so it's totally fine. I don't mind. Okay, let's do some ironing and make this look a little bit more on track, okay? Bottom to the top and down to the other bottom, right? get to the zipper part because I'm excited to work on my home machine which I just got back from the shop and I haven't used it yet. Well, I could do a little better there. This isn't my this is my inside of my garment. Right? Better be. Yeah this is the inside of my garment so I'm gonna try and match that better on the other side when I go to sew it. This looks like it's flipped, doesn't it? The fabric. I mean, it is, but they were really close to each other on the, on the bolt. All right, let's make this look how we need it to look. I'm gonna go back and look at my video and see how I did that. Once I see it, I'm gonna be like, oh, <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I, can't, I can't think of it right now. You wouldn't want these little threads to stay in here because they might show through one of the things I was always adamant about with our factory and they 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 would get a little pushy with me about it and I'm like look you can see the threads through the needle case on the outside when it's a lighter color fabric they finally were like oh yeah you're right I don't do unnecessary stuff you know Oh, cool, Terry. <laughs> Your air zipping. <laughs> Do, um, there's a local gal. She works at the fabric store here, and she's an artist, and she teaches at the um, local community college um, all kinds of arting classes and arting art classes. I was going to say sewing and art at the same time. And she is in a show, like an art show soon, and it, she's making a quilt. She's been kind of blending her art with her quilting and sewing. She's the garment teacher that they have uh, most of the time there. Um, 
Her name's Rebecca. She's been in the stream a few times. But she has this pro pro uh, project where she's plein air quilting. Did I tell you guys about that? So she has a little vintage machine and it's a hand crank. And so she takes it with her camping or hangs out in the backyard. And um, she's sewing her, her like show in the open air, with, you know, hence the plein air title. It's pretty cool. So even though my original seam right there didn't match perfectly, it doesn't mean that my second pass it can, as long as it wasn't too far off and I'm not distorting it. Eh, it's still a little bit off though. That's interesting. I'm actually gonna kind of leave it. It kind of blends in okay. All right, so now we're back on track. We can put the skirt on. And we're gonna do that as a, as a French seam too. <laughs> you have a big problem. It sounds like you don't have a problem at all. <laughs> yes, I think anything over 20, 15 or 20. <laughs> I used to do that too. But I don't know, I just kind of stopped. I wasn't trying to collect them. I just was always looking for a good machine, you know? All right, so let's push our pocket back towards the front and anchor it at the waist seam here, which it wants to do. It lines up way better. This does not look that great. This thread doesn't match well enough to cover up my mistakes, you know? I'll struggle, man. I just want that to lay flat. I don't care if that doesn't line up. I'd rather it lay flat than it line up perfectly. I used the uh, uh, pattern pieces that were already in that envelope that I drafted at one point. Who knows? I did the side seam before attaching the midriff. Oh. Mm. Interesting. Okay. I can't believe I can't remember. I believe, I bet you guys can't believe I can't remember too. So let's see, this is the back, good. And this is the wrong side, good. That's the right answer after all that, can you imagine? <laughs> and um, look at that, it, it matches. Um, see, this doesn't match right here. I'm not gonna worry about that because it's sewn right there into the seam. So I kind of got gotta do that. Kind of go by that. <laughs> all right. So let's hope all my seam allowances are lining up by the time I get to that side seam. After all the sewing we've done. All right. I feel okay. I feel good. We're back on track. All right, where's my center? Do I have my center marked? Is that it right there? Looks like a fold. Oh, that's not good right there. Wait a minute. This isn't good right there. I just saw a mistake. I just saw it caught. Good thing I didn't back tack. See right there? This is always the worst, you know, when you start taking things out, you start fiddling with the stuff too much. I was really excited about this dress. Now I'm like, I want it to be done. <laughs> do you guys use your treadles? How do they sew? I have a treadle stand. My mom, it was one of my mom's antiques and she gave it to me. I should give it back to her. Now that she lost all of her antiques, I mean, she might want some of those back. All right. All right. I'm just taking out that thread to get rid of the bulk. Let's look at the other side too. It's okay. You can see my needle holes there, but that's okay. All right, cool. All 
That's so funny. I hear that. I hear that a lot. Got to Google marrow. Oh, you have a, Carol, you have a marrow machine? Really? That's cool. Um, Ray, do you know, uh, have you seen like little kids clothing that, um, say like a little knit t-shirt, right? The little knit little girl's t-shirt and the edge of it will have really tight surging on it and it's ruffled. It's like the fabric is just like, and they call it lettuce edging. Like picture the edge of curly leaf lettuce, you know, that you eat. Um, that is uh, called a marrow stitch. And it's also called lettuce edging or marrow stitch. And it's interesting because in the home sew world, in like, I don't know, like the early 2000s, I started hearing it be called um, a rolled hem. And it was really confusing because I'd get a client that was, um, I, had a, I had a famous fabric designer client. And she kept saying, well, this has rolled hems. And I just was like, huh. That doesn't look like a rolled hem to me, you know, like in the picture. So I just waited to see it. You know, I was like, okay, you know, and I saw it and I was like, you know, I had to ask her. I was like, so is this called a, a rolled hem? And she said, yeah. And I was like, oh, okay. So, and apparently some sergers will do it. And it actually is rolling a little piece of the fabric and then surrounding it by fabric, like a nice tight ridge of fabric. Yeah, lettuce edge on your surgery ray. That's marrow edging or rolled hem. Like there's lots of names for it. Um, a true marrow isn't rolling the fabric. It, it, it has, it has uh, no fold over. But in the home sew world, they call it a rolled hem. My serger does that, um, and it is rolling over a little bit of fabric. It, it works great. It, it's so fun to use. But it works. You have to do it on the cross grain of a knit. Otherwise, it won't do that fun little ruffling because <laughs> it has to be on the stretchiest and then what you do is you um, turn on the differential to not gather things up yeah yeah exactly right exactly all right I'm trying to line up this side seam here now that I'm left-handed So I am a little concerned about having the French seam on the waist um, where the, the zipper is going to go through. That's probably going to cause me some trouble. If it doesn't cause me trouble in the sewing, which it probably will, it's going to cause me trouble later on in the wearing of it, unless I sew it better than I have in the past. Because I do find that the invisible zippers um, through thicknesses, uh, sometimes they fail. Or they get stretched out right there, you know? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, searchers are all about finishing and stretch. I mean, the differential, the differential is what, you know, you can, like, in a factory, a differential is what uh, adds the gathers for you. So you, they don't, like, put in a gathering stitch and then pull the threads, right? They have a, um, it's, it's like what you guys would consider a ruffling foot, but it's not a ruffling foot because a ruffling foot is ruffling the whole piece of garment or fabric. Whereas a differential is gathering um, the fabric up to a specific ratio and it's not doing a really cute, you know, pleated look like a ruffling foot will. It is kind of like a ruffling foot though. But there's, they, they can do it where it will uh, differential feed one layer and leave the other layer flat and it'll sew it to it at the same time, I'm pretty sure. It's all one step. Sounds like a dream come true, doesn't it? I'm doing a really bad job trimming. But hey, that's where the stress is at at this point. <laughs> at this point, we're just hoping for something that no one can tell this dress was drama, right? <laughs> We're going for the zero drama look. It's a thing. 
So you guys, I'm gonna start um, using the hashtag home so catwalk. <laughs> Feel free to use it. But I'm gonna start trying to walk in more of my garments so you can see I'm moving. And I hope more people do it because I really like being able to see how a garment moves. And I know for a hundred percent fact, people are posing in a way that shows it the best, even if they're not the company that made the pattern, you know? I do it too, right? Hi, Julia, how's it going? Joining us on Twitch. I was ha Can you not see me on uh, YouTube? Because I had a lot of trouble today. Everyone can see me there, but I could. I can't see me there. I'm not funny. I'm going to iron this waist seam. You just missed a ton of drama with this dress. So we're back on track now. No drama here. Let's hope. This is the waist seam. I always press it just one direction. It doesn't matter which way. It would probably be easier to press this down, honestly. But it's not going to matter. It's just going to get pressed on the edge, too. See, look how thick that is. That's where the pocket is, and so it's probably good I didn't put the pocket on the other side. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm making that worse, aren't I? We'll just get away from that. Run away! Maybe I'll use, I have this old quilt on my bed I could use um, because now we have a different size bed and all my quilts don't work and they're really old anyway. And they're store bought for my tamarack. I just changed topics on you guys, sorry. I know you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> It's kind of a pain that that's not um, going, like right here, I kind of want that. It'd be easier to deal with. Be easier to deal with if it was not like that. I'm not even sure how, I can't remember how I dealt with my um, seam allowance uh, below the invisible zipper. Because I don't have my surgery, I can't finish the edge yet. I have to figure out something. Maybe I'll bind the edge. Ooh, I don't want to do that. I don't want it to be too heavy. Is this where I need the clapper, you guys? When my hands are getting really close. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Joey Sewy. I'm going to look at that. And right, Louise, exactly. Oh, sorry the auto focus is on. I always forget to adjust this camera. The color is always so like rich on this camera. I love it. <laughs> so I, I'm always like, well, that looks good. <laughs> I just adjust where the table is in relation to the camera because I can't change the camera a whole lot. But I forget to turn off the auto focus. But the color is so good over here. So pleasing. Same camera too. So this is the waist seam to the skirt. And then we're gonna get to go move to my home machine. All right. <laughs> Oh, right, Carol? Exactly. Yeah, you couldn't find me on YouTube? How weird. But these all, all these guys are on YouTube watching me. I can't find me either. Isn't that weird? Oh, because thicker seams. Okay. <laughs> she dances her makes a lot of time. No, that, <laughs> I call that my little salami, Nancy, but I bought it. It's like a, like a sleeve, instead of having a sleeve board, you know?
I tried watching a couple of other sewing streamers recently, but one of them was, I just couldn't do it. I, it was, uh, she was really manipulative with her audience, like for money. I was like, I can't watch this. see here I'm at the side seam so I'm kind of hoping I get that lined up pretty good but you know it's pretty thick I'm gonna walk my presser foot up onto it hope hope I stay accurate there ooh Did I just get a wrinkle maybe not I think it's the seam allowance I'm feeling wait I'm feeling something I'm feeling something Oh yes, it's on me. That's so only on. It doesn't come up on YTV. Only on the laptop. Hmm. So it sounds like a YouTube issue, right? Not a me issue. I, mean, I haven't changed anything. YTV is that like an app on your TV that you watch it on? Okay. I know Ray watches it on her TV as well. I watch YouTube on my Roku sometimes, but mostly just on my iPad. It's so much easier to handle, you know. All right, let's see. First thing I do, look at my side seam. Ooh, except for the little wrinkle on the bottom part, it looks pretty good. This pocket is kind of a disaster. I mean, it's not, but it is, you know. It's overworked. You know what I mean? Like, I, because we touched it so much, you like how I just roped you guys into that whole thing? I just said we. Okay. Should we try it on? Make ourselves feel better about this? Let's try it on. Can <laughs> I get it on? Yeah. Oh, yeah. over my watermelon dress. <laughs> Where's the skirt? Let's hope it fits. <laughs> yeah. I don't really dance. I don't know how. TV and laptop, exactly. You're happy to be in the Wii, good. <laughs> have to take that off like a guy takes off clothes. Have you noticed that, how guys take off their clothes like that? <laughs> so funny. All right. Now for the invisible zipper. But look at how cute she is. Oh, we could do the, I need to do the binding too. And I need to do the hem, both in navy blue, so that I'll just come back and do that. Yeah, the pattern right the placement turned out. I am keeping this dress. You can't have it. <laughs> you can have it for, um, let's see. <laughs> um, one of your, um, oh my gosh, what's his name? Eddie Redmayne sweaters. <laughs> I know that's a total no-go. <laughs> yeah, but you didn't see the pain I've been enduring lately. <laughs> but it does look really nice. Like the fabric placement, I'm, I'm down for it. Cool. All right, I'm just inspecting it. We, we've had to rework some things. I am now also left-handed uh, because of this dress. So I'm just kind of checking over, making sure all the things that we've been sewing, we didn't, we didn't hurt anything. The inside looks pretty good though. You know, got all the French seams in there. So, so. <laughs> Julia's like, yeah, no. 
No Eddie Redmayne sweater for you. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's all in the cross grain too. This is printed this way, uh, border print on either side of the fabric, you know, kind of like the, um, well, not kind of, it's like the Cali shirt dress I did. All right, so here's the deal. Like, I don't have this finished edge here. So you know what I might do since we're going over to my, my home machine? I could zigzag it. You know, I could zigzag it. I think this is going to be an issue. I'm trying to think. It's going to be an issue. I'm going to take it out anyway. I'm going to take it out because I know it's going to be an issue because when I have this done, the zipper might get in there. See, so now the zipper's here. I'd have a hole right here that I couldn't get in there and sew. So I'm going to just take it out now preventatively and then make it a little easier to sew in the whole zipper since I know I'm going to have to do it anyway later. I might as well give myself the gift of making the zipper easier to sew by taking out this binding right here. And we'll just fix this binding later. It'll still work just fine, you know? Well worth the pain. It could be like the traveling pants. <laughs> make it a giveaway, right? I actually have thought about that, you know? Like, I would really like to make some of the Patreon tiers um, garments. So if you guys are like, look, will you sew me a garment? you know here you go I'm this size but I want it this length or this mod or whatever we could do that you know <laughs> all right so take out the little bit of this we definitely would be drunk by now if we had to use the steam ripper as a drinking game today just saying we would have had to stick to T for sure. All right. I hope um, I hope it's easier to sew on my home machine. You know. Yes, I am ambidextrous now. I actually uh, I'm not ambidextrous, but I do do a lot of things with my left hand. Um, not because it's easier. I mean, I, I, if I were to be a professional skateboarder or surfer, I would be goofy foot. <laughs> but um, I use a mouse with my left hand, a computer mouse, but I've had to train myself to do that. And a lot of times I catch myself lately using it with the right hand, and I'm like, oh, maybe I should switch it back. But I have my mouse button also flipped, so see, like, I use my mouse like this. So a lot of times I'll pick up the mouse and still click over here with my right hand. And when I've tried to switch it back to normal, like how other people do it, I get confused and I can't figure out which button to do. I've been doing it for so long now. <laughs> and I just do it for preventative, um, repetitive motion, you know, injury use stuff, just to give myself a break. Okay. All right, so now we have this side seam here. I'm gonna give this a quick press and then we are gonna go to my home sewing machine. You're all jittery now, Nancy. You <laughs> drinking every time. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna switch my camera over there as well. Let me just quick press this. So it's nice and flat. Um, actually, we need to uh, iron the zipper still, so let's do that. So if you uh, never put in an invisible zipper, it rolls around the edge, so you can see the z I can peel the zipper tape back, and so you need to iron it open. And just be careful, you don't want to melt the zipper, so do it on a lower setting. I'm gonna do it quick. You, you don't need to like make it permanent. You just need to do it to, um, you do it right before you start sewing. And then it kind of helps you uh, keep it open while you sew. 
a little easier to go like this. Keep accidentally re ironing it the other way. All right, it's a good start. All right, I'm gonna put my tools over there. I'll put the mic over there. And now I'm going to switch the camera. Don't look so you don't get sick. I'm going to turn this so I can see you guys. And I'm going to bring the mouse. Oh gosh, I almost nailed the camera placement. It's going to be a little different. That's my window behind me. How's that, you guys? Looks fuzzier, huh? So this is my new um, So Steady table that I did not post on Instagram. You see that? Isn't that nice? <laughs> right, exactly, Malin. Yeah, I know. Um, anytime someone picks up my mouse, I'm always like, oh, it's on the left, you know? And I, I don't even like telling them just because I, I think they're like, oh, this is one more thing this lady's weird at, you know? So my camera's really close. Sorry about that. Oh, you know what? I need to, I have a little binder clip. So I put a binder clip on my back of my machine when I'm using a cone of thread. And then I, I feed the thread through the handles of the, bi the binder clip. I can show you what I mean. Let's see. There. <laughs> High tech, eh? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I know. I, I, oh, sorry. I might bump the camera a little bit. See if I can get this to work. Maybe not. Hmm. Maybe that'll work. Um, yeah, so I used to have an insert and it just it just started breaking. The little lip around the edge just was just break, just crumbling off because it was a different material. This is way nicer. I think they've come a long way. All right, where are my scissors? I just threw all my tools on here. If you didn't hear me do that, <laughs> yeah, you know, and it was like sixty dollars, you guys. I think that's really affordable, personally. Oh, I have to go front to back. Um, if you, you can probably talk to them and say, Hey, I'm making myself a sewing table. Like if you already have a sewing table you like, um, they will tell you the size hole to, um, I'm forgetting you right there. Um, the size hole to cut for your table insert. And then you tell them what style machine you have and they cut this hole to fit your machine. And then like um, the whole, like this little hole goes around my machine and then it just goes straight off to the edge. And so there's like, you can get in there you can like reach your, where your plug hits and where the on and off button is. Yeah, this table I've had a while and it was kind of expensive. It's by Sylvia Design Sewing Furniture. Um, and I got it where I bought the machine. Yeah. But you can, they have some, like, tables have really become commonplace. There's, like, a lot of really great ones. And it has the, the lift in it, which I know you can buy separate as well. So that you can have your machine go flush with the table, the, with the bed. 
I also have a knee lift on this machine. I don't know if you can see it, but I have a knee lift right here. It's optional. I don't have to use it, but because I'm used to using it, I'm really glad it has it. Let's see if I can get the... I'm trying to get you as much visibility as possible for the zipper. Oof. Okay, we'll try that. Okay, so I got all my feet out and I wanted to see which one is going to go because I think it might be this one. You know, like I can feel it on the grooves there. Don't you think that would be nice? A buttonhole. This is my buttonhole foot, I'm pretty sure. And then I have... Like that one's not going to be good. That one's not going to be good. This one could work. It would go along the side of it. This one, no. No, 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 no. Sorry, I know it was loud. Sorry. <laughs> so, um, I know. And you know, um, one tip. Um, I've used, and I used one of these until I moved into this space and, um, I just don't need it anymore. But one tip is if you go to like, like older places that might still have typewriter tables that they're getting rid of, you know, no one uses a typewriter anymore. So sometimes you find those old typewriters tables, they're lower, they're like this height for the typewriter so they're ergonomic for typists and those are great for sewing machines and you can find them for dirt cheap i just gave mine to somebody because it, it just works so well um and i i didn't need it anymore and i was like here you can just have it i mean i probably spent ten dollars on it you know so oh really that's cool lisa that's awesome yeah, right. I know. They were like, okay, are you sure? Because I don't have the brand they carry there. <laughs> All right. So let's see. I think um, let's go traditional and I'm going to put a zigzag stitch in. You know? Let's put a zigzag stitch in. All right, you're have, seeing me sew on my, my home machine. Where's my presser foot? <laughs> I mean my foot pedal. There's too much junk over here, my goodness. This person's messy. The thing is I really, ooh, I don't know, maybe I won't do a zigzag. Let's see what that looks like. Now we're not gonna, oh, I know what's wrong. It's the, it's my um, thread spool back here. It's creating too much tension. I gotta get it really close. Okay. I might not do a zigzag. I may just leave it raw, because honestly, it's fine. I, oh, you know what? I'm just gonna do a straight stitch. I feel like that'll be better. I haven't sewn on my machine since I got it back. Those, that seam length, yo, the heck. So, so tiny. So did you work at a, like a sewing machine dealer, Lisa? That must've been really interesting. I'm going to press my um, seam allowance up. You guys, I don't want to do this. I'm stopping right here. Um, I don't want, I'm not going to do this anymore. Like, I'm not going to, like, keep going down there. This is all in the bias. It's not going to unravel. It'll be nicer without it. You know what I mean? I have a Bernina. It's a Bernina uh, called Patchwork Edition 140. 
And the reason I got it, it's obviously geared towards quilters. The reason I got it was it was the bottom entry level that I could get with the knee lift because I like using one. So this this area I know is gonna is gonna fray. So I'll I'll leave this stitch in. It it kind of bugs me. <laughs> oh, and my thread is not the same front top and bottom either. That's part of the problem too. All right, sorry guys. I'm gonna go get some thread. I want the same weight thread. Let me see if I can find some. Oh yeah yeah, I have one right here. Yeah. That'll be better. This is what my bobbin is, I can tell. It's not that other stuff which is too heavy. Oh, sorry. Oh, the camera is so close. I really want to just get to this, um, just want to get to this zipper. But maybe I should be doing blue thread maybe blue okay I'll stitch this other side of this bodice so it looks the same and then we'll start it oh quilters rule oh interesting that's cool you are no novice to the sewing industry Lisa that's pretty cool <laughs> that would be really interesting um I mean, I know, yeah, you're dealing with, like, too many custom things. This is so obvious. Not Obviously not my usual sewing area. Okay. Ooh, it sounds so nice. It sounded nice before, but now it sounds even better. All right, I'm going to trim all this off. Again, I'm only putting this straight stitch in to uh, stabilize the edge because I'm not going to serge it or French seam it. And um, the zigzag is just not appropriate for this fabric. For how close I want to be to the edge. And that uh, thread weight was not doing any justice to the stitch. So we're just going to do a straight stitch like that. I'm going to trim it down a little bit. It's still going to fray a little bit, but eventually it'll stop. You know, it'll become a little more stable. So, yeah, the knee lift is really nice. I really like it. Okay. Let's see if I can tilt this. a struggle <laughs> you guys this is such a struggle okay let me uh, I'm trying to get get it so you can see right here And then how about I um, move me right here? Is that better? <laughs> okay. So now. The one thing that I think the trickiest part about putting on an indust, uh, invisible zipper is getting confused with the zipper um, itself being the right side or the wrong side when you get it onto the garment. It's really easy to flip it over and you see like even in the comments section. I watched the, um, I highly recommend the video uh, by Blueprint who has Angela Wolf sewing this invisible zipper. I've mentioned it before. I'm not going to hide the fact that I watch her video. It's really, really good. I love that it's nice and concise, and she and she tells you what to do, and it works. So, and if you read her comments, it's pretty funny. People are like, "I still sew the zipper in upside down." So she gives you some good tips on um, making sure you know. Like my dress is confusing that what's the right and what's the wrong side because I lined it. 
So let's see, here is the, my zipper doesn't need to be this long. Usually you need your zipper to extend seven to nine inches below your waistline, your natural waistline. That's the rule that you follow. So if you're not sure how long to make a zipper, you want it seven to nine inches or to the fullest part of your um, abdomen. So like that, typically they say seven to nine inches is the fullest part of your hip area, right? And so that's where you want to be able to dress the dress to open up that far so you can kind of shimmy, shimmy, cocoa pop into the dress, right? So you need that kind of opening. I don't need a 22 inch length invisible zipper. I would if this were skin tight <laughs> and um, all the way up to the, you know, the back of my neck or something. So, so this is the right side of the zipper when it's shut. So you're gonna put it face down to your dress zipper tape to the edge because this is how it would be right like this and like she says you know pin it on there I'm gonna start it like down here pin it on there just get it on there it doesn't matter really you know how how neat it is but now you're gonna unzip your zipper because when it's unzipped that's when it gets a little confusing because you have this like this all flopping around on here and it can be really confusing what is the right and the wrong side of your zipper especially because this with the teeth you know rolling onto the seam line area it looks like that's the right side of the zipper when it's not it's this side so it is a little confusing so she also has you measure um, the distance where you want it to be I know where mine's gonna be um, and I'm actually going to line up my tape all the way to the edge because I would actually like uh, the smallest amount taken out. So let's see here. Let's see how it goes sewing in a zipper on my home machine. And um, I'm going to kind of measure where do I want this to end. Probably about right here. And I'm going to mark this spot on the other side now before I sew it. Because one, one tip you'll want to follow for your invisible zipper to truly be invisible, you really need to make sure that the um, area below the zipper is um, sewn. Can't see my hand, sorry. Sorry, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. So. I'm going to, I, I will start all that over, but um, I'm just gonna measure on both sides and make sure they're perfectly even. Because remember, I'm trying to match these seams right here and they're more important than this edge right up here at the top. Look, the coloring is not that great, is it? We won't worry about that. My yoke looks a little wider on this side. That stitch could have stretched it out a little bit too. So let's look at it here, here. Not too bad, but um, I would like it to match best I can, right? So let's line this up and we're going to follow the same notch on the top and the bottom. I'll know that is because I just cut through my stitching. That's a really good sign. I'm going to try and keep this relaxed even though it's probably not going to match right there. I've fiddled with those seams so many times now it's not going to be a surprise if they don't match. So let's see here. So this is the one I want right here. This one, this was my pocket notch. Okay, so you really want the stitching below your zipper. <laughs> oh, really? That's funny. Um, that is w where kind of invisible zippers can tend to not be so invisible. And she has some really great tips on that. So, but one of the first ones is where you stop sewing on either side of your long zipper. Bye, Kara. Um, needs to be straight across from each other. 
and you have an opportunity to even that out if you don't nail it the first time. All right, so let's line up the zipper. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna kind of treat the top of the zipper the way I'm gonna treat the bottom of the zipper since I'm trying to go for invisible above and below. All right, so let's see how I do. I mean, with the contrast thread, it's gonna be, my stitches are gonna be really obvious. <laughs> and um, we have this foot that I'm hoping is going to nicely guide. So let's see here. Let's see, I should, probably should have done a sample, eh? Okay, so that's one of the grooves. All right, but I really want the needle to be right here. I'm gonna move my needle to the left a little bit because I can do that. Let's try it. I feel like I'm too close. All right, here we go. Pro sewer tries to look like a pro sewer. I'm trying to hold that there. The lighting is terrible, you guys. Where's my mouse? This, um, <laughs> this stream is gonna be legendary. All right, careful, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hit auto here for a second. Oh no, I can't, okay, great. Exposure. <laughs> Bye, Kara. <laughs> um, I thought about it, Julia, but honestly, this I, literally we've had so many little hiccups. I'm kind of at that point where a lot of sewists get where I'm like, I need some success. I need this to be done, you know? And really, I was thinking about the bulk of this, this um, stitching being on the lower part where it is this color. You could totally switch thread colors. I, I actually think I would like that better myself, but at this point, I'm just going to kind of go as e easily as possible. So that's where I'm at. I've never done this on my home machine and I would really, really like to be a little closer. <laughs> it's a lot easier to sew already. I can tell you that. <laughs> ah, no, that's getting too close. Okay, I'm gonna go nice and slow. So I'm trying to stay, there's a little line of stitching. It's like the, the zipper tape changes a pattern and that's where you're trying to stay in because the stitching stays under where the zipper rolls over it. Hence making it in, hopefully invisible. But if you get it too close, the zipper will get hung up right there. So you don't really want that to happen. And I've tried the little invisible zipper foot kit that you can buy it's like a few dollars it doesn't work on my machine it's like it's not compatible it's probably because Bernina made their own and remember my machine is geared towards quilting you know this is real life no phoniness so true but you know I I, I used to practice some things off stream but um, I feel like I don't need to do that with you guys. I would rather learn how to do these things together. I almost went back and looked at one of my old streams to see what worked and what didn't because we it's always counterintuitive to me what I end up getting to work. And then I was like, you know what? No, today's the day you are going to do this on the home machine. I think I just went past my... I, no, I didn't go past it. Here's my notch right there. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get away from the zip tee. See how the zipper, um, or the back stitch goes, cr 
crooked. Does yours do that? It's really annoying. Every machine I've ever had almost does that. Okay. Let's zip it up and see how it goes. It's already tight right there. This fabric is so lightweight. Um, see right there that where that back stitch went awry. That's a problem right there, right there. But I brought my seam ripper over. I knew I'd need it. We don't need this back stitch anyway. I, I it was premature. My nail is really handy for this. <laughs> So look at that. It goes closer to the teeth. You don't you don't want that. That's not okay. Every time I wear this dress, I'm gonna do a heel click. No, I'm not. I'll kill myself if I do that. <laughs> Alright. Let's see here. Okay, get that out of there. I'm. I'll put that back tack back in in just a second. But I want to see how my the rest of my zipper sews or pulls. Let me get rid of these threads because they. I want to set myself up for success here. I feel like I got a little close in one other spot. So let's see. Ah, easy peasy. That looks pretty good. Look at that. This looks really good up here. It's a little far away down here. And, and pretty good down here. So let's get a little closer up here. They do, Barbara? That's good to know. <laughs> Back just goes weird. Yeah, exactly. Well, you know, Lisa, I mean, the, it is about the real life and no phoniness the, the, for me, you know? That I am only going by your guys, what you guys say to me, because you say, I really like that, you know, you use your seam ripper or, um, you know, you don't, that, you know, that you make mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. Every single person out there, even top brain surgeons, make mistakes. So why wouldn't I be expected to make, oh God, I'm getting a big old amount of thread there. Oh man, and you, now you know what my strong suit is and what my strong suit isn't, <laughs> right? I'd much rather sew jeans any old day <laughs> than an invisible zipper. And there, and you know, I could do the other kind of zipper. I'm actually really good at those, <laughs> but I wanna, I wanna conquer this. I like the contrast so I can, we can see what we're doing. I can get rid of this if I want, but I'm gonna leave it right now. It's it's not gonna hurt anything. And let's just see if, um, the heck. Okay, that's fine. All right, so I'm gonna leave that. I'm a beginner. <laughs> I am a beginner. All right, so um, this is where you also want to make sure you get your zipper on. Right sides together and lined up straight across from one another so that your dress is nice and smooth. I mean, luckily we have still the binding to do on the armhole so that we're going to have a nice continuous transition right here, right? In a way, I just gave myself an out by taking out that binding, which is great. We need all the outs we can get with this because mistakes were made. <laughs> drama. Yeah, this is the drama dress. We're just gonna call this now the drama dress. Okay, let's see here. Actually, this is more important. This is more important right here, I forgot. I'm gonna try and get this as close as possible. I'm gonna actually push the seam just like a smidge above where the other one is because when my sewing machine comes down, it's probably gonna push it. Am I gonna sew? I'm gonna sew, try to sew from the top down too. 
We'll see if I can do it. Because then it'll push it the same direction as the other one was pushed. You know? Really exposed silver monster teeth. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Is that because they're like um, planning on altering them? But they would leave a different spot for it to be altered. I'm just opening it. Sorry if I keep pulling it off camera. Okay, so I'm going to tell myself it's the bottom notch. Oh, okay. All right, so I matched, I pinned my zipper to match the um, midriff straight across these two seams right here, which apparently I'm not top stitching until I forgot about that. That would have been a nice senseless thing to do. I did not give myself that little gift. No, I'm stuck in this. Okay, so um, I moved my needle to the other side now. I'm gonna try and get this going. $100 dress. Oh, wow, at Nordstrom. Dang. $100 dress at Nordstrom is not bad. God, I miss Nordstrom. I mean, I, I'm not a big department store shopper, but that's such a California thing, Nordstrom's. All right, let me get my feet under me here. Okay, I think I'm on track. Looks a little close to me. Let me go back off one. Intense concentration. I can't see very well. That's part of the problem. It's kind of dark. Camera's kind of in the way. All right, exactly. Starbucks is from Washington, I'll have you know, not California. Oof. I think I need a gin and tonic after this. <laughs> or lunch. <laughs> Both, both would be great. Oh, I'm supposed to talk to my graph. Okay, I have time. Ah! I shouldn't have looked away. I have talked to my graphic artist today. I love the sound of that. You guys, I just don't, I don't feel very confident right now. And I don't like that feeling. <laughs> I feel very vulnerable. I think sometimes when you're doing something that feels wrong and then it ends up okay, I don't know if it's gonna end up okay yet. I, you know what, Carol, you're right. I have good, really good watermelon on the fridge. Um, once when something doesn't feel right and it feels wrong and then when you've done it a few times you're like okay that's that's actually normal and that's how it feels and then that's the that starts feeling right that's where I'm at like this doesn't feel right and I'm hoping it is it's so much easier than my other machine to sew that was a real struggle because my presser foot was flat underneath and this one has grooves but I feel so close to the teeth right now even though I don't hear them Okay, I want to be to this bottom. I didn't backstitch my other one. I remember that too, just oh, just in case you guys think I forgot. Okay, I'm not going to backstitch. I'm going to do the old school style. I'm going to lift it up and go forward again. Old school style, like a lot of industrial machines don't have backstitch. And so what they do is they, um, I was going to try, I was trying to tell Miriam this. Um, you lift it up and you just re-sew the last few stitches again. Like that. It's 
you don't have a backstitch or if you have a vintage machine or an industrial machine it doesn't have it, that's how you do it. <laughs> that's how they do it in the factory. <laughs> right? I have earned something, right? Exactly. Okay. You know, look at that. That looks so good. I really hope, <laughs> the suspension is kind of killing me. I'm sure it is for you. I really hope this is right because look how good it looks. It just looks really close to me. I'm worried. Okay. This is always the harder one to zip up. Gotta turn the dress right side out. And I'm telling myself right now, like, it's gonna be a little tricky to pull. Okay, it's definitely not across from one another. Okay, <laughs> I feel pretty good. <laughs> it's not perfectly matching right there, but hell, I don't care right now. <laughs> All right, phew, all right, you guys, look at that. That looks pretty good. <laughs> oh, you little thing. <laughs> this is when like a, a gaming streamer would be like, can I get some pog you in the chat? And I'm always like, what the heck's that? It's like an old streaming term. Old meaning, you know, a year or two ago. Um, <laughs> because nothing's old in the streaming world. All right, so this stitch right here needs to be um, across from each other. I have a feeling, I have a feeling this side's a little stretched out and that's why those don't line up. Because look, that's, that's probably what happened there. Because we know those were across from each other. So this side's a little stretched out um, and it, you know, it's really easy to do because this seam is all on the bias, right? So we'll just extend this one down a little bit because that's the one I didn't put the back stitch in. You know? <laughs> this is a real, this is a little tight right here, but it's always tight in these junctures. These, and like on my other dolly is the same thing. And that's where they got a little bit tired. And what happened was the t tape right here got like, it started pulling apart a little bit. Yeah, yay! <laughs> it's like a little bit of delay for you guys. And it's like, Phew. All right, let's see where I need it to be. She shows using a colored marker, you know, to mark across. I don't really have, uh, well, my, actually my chalk is uh, light colored enough, is light colored, so that's good. I was about to say I don't have anything dark, but I have dark tape. So let me get my chalk. All right. Darn close, exactly. All right, so I'll line this up here like this. I like this little charcoal liner. I haven't used it for a bit, so I need to prime it a little. Okay. Phew, home stretch. So fast to sew in when it goes well, right? Okay. So. Oh, I still put the chalk on the wrong side. That's funny. I thought I was putting it on the correct side. Confusing. Okay. I think I'm going to be able to pick my serger up today, too. Is this the... Wait, this is the... This is the second one I did. Oh, okay. Weird. Wait. No, it's not. <laughs> I'm move my zipper. Might mean my needle. No, start moving, please. Okay. Oh, 
him off. Why, why am I using the backstitch? Why am I using backstitch? Because the backstitch is actually closer to the zipper than the original. Look at this side, it's so messy. All right, well, let's just say I'm not gonna be hired to do a clinic on invisible zippers anytime soon. Not my strong suit, right? That's okay. I don't have to be good all, at all of it. <laughs> I love how flat the fabric looks on the other side. Okay, so now we're going to join up the seam above and below. And you know, I think what I'll do is um, French seam part of it. All right, this is so confusing. It's like, look the, the like dress, it's so confusing. All right, here we go. Start with what I know, and then make my way down there. All right, here we go. This is the right, okay. <laughs> Bye, Malin. Yeah, it's probably really late for you. Thanks for sticking with me. <laughs> I, I think I need to pick some shorter streams next week. All right, so I, Julie, I think you're right. Like having matching thread would have been nicer. Um, I will say selfishly, I'm really glad I didn't go that route so I could see where my stitches are. Right, exactly, right, exactly. I'm trying to zip it up now. All right, so here we go. So now I've zipped up my the bottom part of my dress here. You're gonna put it right sides together. You're gonna pull your zipper out of the way here. This is where my um, zipper foot will be more handy. And you know, just Make sure you, you let this know who's boss here. Like just push, pull your zipper tape out of the way there. Let's get rid of this thread here. All right, that's attached. You guys are really um, patient with me today. <laughs> this is a struggle. Let's see, I wanted, I haven't used a zipper foot in so long. I want it over there, right? Okay. So I want my zipper foot on the left and then I'm gonna get close to this as I can. Right there. Backstitch, man. Make sure you're keeping it right on top of itself. Keep your zipper out of the way. Try not to stretch your fabric. And um, just go part a little bit down like this. Uh, okay, I, I officially think my machine just really sucks at backstitch. It always kind of has, but it's really apparent to me today because I'm annoyed. <laughs> You're wearing socks. That's a lot of socks. It's too hot here for socks. <laughs> All right, so let's see how I did. Let's see if it looks invisible. Bye, Elaine. Thanks for coming. You've been eating sushi. Yeah, <laughs> it's nice. Okay, that looks pretty good. Look at that. Not bad. It's not no Angela Wolf, but I'll take it. That doesn't help that there's a dot of ink right there from the um, print. 
I need to practice these. All right, let's do the top. Um, the top's gonna be a little harder because the benefit with the bottom is that your zipper teeth uh, are joined below the seam. You know what I mean? What am I getting caught on? It's always easier to pull your zipper open when you're on the right side of the garment. What am I stuck on? I wasn't stuck on anything there before. Oh, look at that. Well, howdy. Okay. Look at that. We're going to fix that raw now. I'll, I'll try and be quick, you guys. Sorry. Was I not zipping it all the way up? What the heck? Oops. The zipper foot could be a little easier. I'm just gonna go a little bit further so and not do a back stitch because um, we, we know how I feel about my back stitch right now. I knew that happened. Thread vomit. Just try and loosen it up and then cut it off. There we go. All right. So now it should be fine. There we go. All right. So let's see if I can do this above this idea above the um, seam. <laughs> this is way more <laughs> tune on camera. Looks perfect. What do you mean? This time, oh, this is my <laughs> You can't see a problem there. Oh, it's just because of the stitching was just like jogged over. So let's see here. I'm going to, always gotta remember to move your needle back over. Um, this is kind of an experiment on my part. See if I can get it. Holding my teeth over there, and I'm gonna see if I can make it seamless above and below. I have this nifty little holder for my foot pedal for this machine. I don't have it on for this machine though. It's on. It's un, it's like sitting under my industrial machine for when I sit with a serger. And it works so good. If you've ever seen one of those in the fabric store, it looks like a, um, a little carpeted ramp, for lack of a better description. And you can set your presser foot on it so it doesn't scoot around on the floor. It works brilliant. I love it. Because that's one of my pet peeves is when your, your presser foot's like, I mean, your, your foot pedal, God, I can never call out the right thing. Yeah, thread, <laughs> thread nest. Yeah, that's a way nicer term for it. Let's see. Okay, that went really good. But see, Julia's right. Having matching thread here would be probably really smart. But that looks so good. Look at that. I, okay, I almost picked a different um, Velcro. Oh, so smart, Julia. Oh, you couldn't see the problem. Yeah, you could. Yeah, exactly. Um, I almost used a different color zipper because it would match this better and it was a little lighter and I just thought, well, if the navy zipper shows through down here, I wouldn't like that. So glad I went with the navy. I went with the navy because I was like, navy matches the navy, so if it shows, it's navy. I forgot about the, the zipper pole showing. It would have been a green zipper pole sitting there. I'm happy with this. I really love the way this looks. That's my triumph today. All right, let's move over to the, um, let's go back to my, industrial machine. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> I just want to go back over there. <laughs> um, and let me see if I can find my all. I heard it fall. Turn off this machine here. Bring you, 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 and you guys. Can you say 
low budget. <laughs> okay. You're looking through my thread cradle now. All right, so all we have left is to finish the seam, the binding, and the hem. I'm kind of tempted to do this tomorrow. We have the butterfly blouse slated for tomorrow. I'm pretty sure the fabric's not going to arrive until tomorrow. So how about we do this? How about I finish this tomorrow? And what we have now is the... Oh, I don't know. If you guys are up for it, I'll keep going. But it's kind of a long stream. I have the hem and the side seam. How about I do this? I'll do the binding on the armhole and the center back seam, but I'm gonna hem it off camera. You guys down for that? How's that sound? Like a good compromise? Cause I, I kinda wanna make sure I get to do the refashion and stuff. All right, so I'm gonna cut this zipper off right here. And bind across it. So it doesn't scratch me. You know, so I'm just going to do this. Just have this little piece here. Let's change to navy blue now. I kind of want to be done with this dress so that we don't have to start the stream with it again. <laughs> oh, nice. You have guests coming. I told my husband recently, I was like, you know what? Let's turn the guest room into a... Um, a workout room because I don't really have guests, <laughs> so why not, right? <laughs> Let's make it for what we want. That'll that'll guarantee that guests want to come visit then too. If we don't have a spot for them anymore. Okay. I feel like right by right now, I should be really frustrated, and I'm just not. Maybe I already have that gin and tonic. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to, actually I cut a piece off this side because if I need any scrap of binding, I, I'd rather have the navy blue to use. So this is what I'm gonna do. I used to do this at Chicken Boots all the time. I would wrap my zipper like this. So you see that? It's basically like just wrapped around. And I'm going to sew straight across the zipper. Oh, I love this machine. Brooke, you can always come and visit. It's not, the change isn't going to happen either. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'd love to come over. You have three guest rooms and two kids away. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so then, yeah, see now that's finished. And then I just tuck all this in there best I can. It's like, I always have binding laying around, so this works really good for me. But if you don't, you can just use any scrap of fabric. Just something to cover up this cut edge of the zipper. It's just nice. Because this, that little thing, that can really ruin your day. You can sleep on the treadmill. That's what I want. I need to get a treadmill. I used to have one. <laughs> and um, someone in my family said it sounded like an elephant upstairs using it. When I was using it with my daughter, she, was just, she wasn't trying to like insult me at all. But she was just like, it's just so loud, you know. And I was, I was like, you know, <laughs> that was my face. See, I shouldn't have changed to the blue. Well, you know, oh well. All right, I'm going to do wrong sides together and then the right sides together. Brookie, yeah, you should come visit. I don't know what I have to offer you but me. <laughs> I mean, that's the thing is like, I mean, now that more people have found home, 
rooms. Um, it wouldn't be hard to put them up in a hotel. But I, for a while there, I was like, oh, we can't make this change unless until people find homes because there's just no room in any of the, um, you know, the hotels and stuff. My husband said he saw uh, Rayanne, that was my old assistant. He saw her he saw her partner at work the other day and, and said they're they're really happy and, and they're really enjoying their new home. So that was really great to hear. I'm really glad. I know it's like a fixer upper and they're having to do a lot of work on it, but Rayanne has a lot of skills with that stuff because her dad used to build houses. And she was at his side. Growing up you know, or at least in her 20s doing some of it. Oh, you're not going to Rhinebeck. What the heck? I know it sounds kind of crazy, but this so is, this like this, this project is both really satisfying and kind of unsatisfying. Like I almost want to sew something afterward. I still, oh, I have to still have to make my daughter's little backpack and they're leaving tomorrow. Oof, and I'm winging that one. Darn. Darn. And I have a phone call and I need to go to the fabric store. I'm busy this afternoon. Wow. You need I need a cleansing so that is exactly it. I need success. 100 percent instantaneous success. Ooh, this dress is so good though. Let's fix it. While I wait for the iron to heat up, let's see if I can fix this binding right now. So let's see. This is... We'll just take out the last stitches on part of it. stitches over here <laughs> yeah I'm trying to keep her little backpack simple it has to be really simple there's only one opening allowed and it has to be drawstring closure you could bring a vinyl one but I was like ugh, everyone would see what's inside which is fine that's what they're looking for but it would also be sticky <laughs> yeah Brooke is on YouTube Julia says hi Brooke Julia can't find the YouTube. I told you, there's something up with it. I hope I can find it later on when I need to link to it. You guys all found the mystery spot. All right, so this is how I need to fix this. Fixing things is always so much more work. Am I right? Right there. At least today when I, my husband says, how was the stream? I can say it was a little rough. <laughs> I have news. I actually have like news <laughs> about my stream. Oh, that's awesome. You're watching, <laughs> you're watching Twitch and Julia. Or, uh, Brooke says hi as well, Julia. <laughs> Ray's both watching both. So you're, you're seeing the future on Twitch, right? Because there's a little bit of a delay on YouTube. This is almost all back to normal on this side, as long as I don't screw it up now. It's so dark. Okay. So 
I'm just re-sewing that binding we took out earlier. No problem. Nice to put the start and stops in the area where the thread matches too, so they, they're more hidden, right? I'm waiting for like an earthquake to happen and my scissors jerk and I cut my dress. That's where I'm at right now. You know? Like that that kind of uh, <laughs> kind of jinx. These feel like they're beyond the sewing fairies realm. I don't think these were her things or she took a day off or something. I don't know. Okay, so this side now is back to having the zipper. Alright, let me um press the sightseeing now. No what? Why are you saying no? What happened? Why are you saying no? What happened? You guys both said, oh, no earthquake? Oh, God, I don't care about earthquakes. They scare you guys? They don't scare me. I'm a true Californian, obviously, huh? Earthquake over fire any day. I did not line this up very well, did I? Did I? Wait, did I? Maybe I did. Okay, I'm gonna have to blend in with that. <laughs> Don't jinx it. You guys are so funny. <laughs> that reminds me of that Big Bang Theory episode. I love that show so much. Where Leonard and Penny are arguing over, um, like, I think she saw a psychic, and he's like, you don't believe in that stuff, do you? And she's like, well, yeah, you know, it, it is. And, and he was like, that's like, that's like saying, like, you know, voodoo is real, or crystals are real. And she was like, oh, yeah, crystals are malarkey, but voodoo, that stuff's real. I mean, her whole, like, sentence is so funny. Why isn't this getting, oh, okay, I turned it down, that's why. I'm like, why isn't this getting hot? taper it when I get to this, the seam I've already sewn right here. So I just I just trimmed the seam allowance under there and I kind of come up and kind of continue right about here. So let's hope my invisibles are still invisible. Night Louise, nice seeing you. <laughs> okay. Just fine. All right, let's just put our binding on the other armhole. Let's see how long this strap is. 
Um, remember yesterday I knew what length I wanted the strap to be. Now I'm more concerned with matching the strap rather than getting the same distance as uh, that I, I tried to get the strap, you know? I'm more concerned with this strap being matching. It's five and three quarters. It's actually, that's about right because I remember I decided to back off of a little bit because my straps are all stretched out and so this one's going to stretch over time because it's on the bias, you know? <laughs> Hi, Unika. How's it going? You have missed a drama-filled garment. <laughs> I'm like, I miss a few things. Your daughter just came through, saw this chat, and said she didn't want me to sew wearing long. Like, yeah. She has no idea. You stay up until two finishing things for you. Exactly, right? <laughs> right? The day before when the kids change your minds. Oh, God, Julia. Like, I, I know I've told the story where my daughter wanted to be a purple fairy for, for Halloween. Um, and, um, and they kept asking me to make the, co you know, like, when's my purple fairy costume? And I, I was waiting, you know, I was waiting till as close to Halloween as possible so she could change her mind, you know? And, uh, so then I finally made it. I was like, oh, I made your purple fairy costume today. She was in preschool. And, uh, she was like, well, actually, mama, I want to be a mommy wrapped in toilet paper from Egypt. <laughs> That's what she told me. And I was like, no, 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 no. You want to be a um, purple fairy? I was like looking in the rearview mirror at her like, really? Bye, Lisa. Ooh, you're going on a bike ride. Tell, go ahead. Tell you about the drama, Unica. Yeah, but yeah. Yeah, this, uh, I, so I decided to put in a, uh, pockets on the side seams of this dress. And I'm doing French seams, which can be a little tricky. That's no big deal. It's the fact that I'm putting an invisible zipper on the side seam as well. And I decided at the last second, you know what? I'm only going to put one pocket on this dress. Low drama, right? I'm going to put one pocket on this dress and um, then we'll just put it on the side without the zipper. I double checked, I triple checked, and then I ended up putting the pocket on the side with the zipper. So then I was like, great, now I have to take something out. And Malin had the genius idea of like becoming left-handed and just making the zipper on the other side. So then I had to take apart the bottom side seam to accommodate that. So yeah. All right, now I'm just putting on my last strap and I'm going to mark this right here because I'm a little lost in my armhole. So here we go. Like this. You have to come around like this and continue the arm hole like this. Here we go. So it's got binding arm hole strap. And then uh, I switched for the first time ever to my home sewing machine to do my uh, invisible zipper because we kind of struggle with doing them on my industrial. <laughs> And, um, did I not kill her, Julia? Uh, you know, honestly, Julia, um, I have to say, like, if someone were to ever ask me, what are the proudest things you've ever sewn? I didn't make my wedding dress, so at least that's off the table. Someone else made my wedding dress. Um, I will say the mommy, the, the mommy, the mummy costume is one of my, I feel like one of my triumphs that no one's ever going to see, but it is one of my triumphs. And it's because I was like, all right, this is a kid who just learned how to go potty in a toilet, right? <laughs> and so, um, I didn't want to make her something where she's like actually wrapped up. And so what I did was I took muslin and I tore it in strips all the same width so it had that nice frayed edge. I made her a little shirt and pants out of muslin that velcroed up the back um, and before I put the velcro on I laid the the um, muslin on the bodice 
and stitched it, and then I laid another one, stitched it, so like they were just over overlapping each other like that, so you couldn't see the stitching. It literally looked like she was wrapped, and the, and the sleeves, everything. So there was actually an armhole seam and a side seam, but you didn't notice that. All you saw was all the strips of muslin, and, you, and it was Velcro on her pants and all. Um, it turned out great. It was comfortable. She could run around and move, and she looked wrapped up. It was awesome. It was one of my triumphs. <laughs> of all the things I've done, drafted patterns for, um, and I've done some crazy stuff. <laughs> That's one of my, my favorites that I've ever made. So, And I did almost kill her. But the purple fairy costume got a lot of use. So, so let's see. Uh, before I have more drama with this dress, how about I set myself up to succeed here? Ooh, this dress is... It's looking good, even though I never want to see its face again. It's looking good. <laughs> so yeah, that's how I feel about this right now. No, I've, I've got to like do the uh, the um, you know I'm starting a hashtag home so catwalk, um, and this is gonna be my second one on the, my home so catwalk. I can really see people having fun with that hashtag and doing an even better job than me for sure. Had it, you know, dancing, acting like they're on a catwalk. Really, I just want to see garments in motion. It can be a deciding factor on whether you want to sew something or not, if you see it in motion. And if, if a pattern can't stand up to that, then they need to redesign the pattern. Have you been doing a lot of sewing, Unika? That's awesome. What are you been making? I actually checked out your stream too. It was fun. I love how much your chat chats with you and they adore you. It's really cute. I love it. All right, I'm up to the strap up here and Remember yesterday, I just kind of let the binding do its thing. That's a seam right there, not the, not a thread. So see, it's it's not pre-turned, but it's gonna want to do that because the seam before it and after it, it's kind of already guiding it in that direction. I'd be really bummed if I twisted that. I didn't even think about that, but it's probably a very likely possibility. Ooh, I'm so excited. I'm almost done. This was supposed to be a really easy sew. <laughs> You're right? Exactly. Yeah, I feel like in a way you could help sew other pat sell other patterns, you know? Cause you're like, oh, I thought that did something else. That looks way better. I what I why I did the catwalk on the uniform tunic that day, which I should post pictures of it, like just stationary too. Um, I did that because the way the slits flapped around is really nice. You know, I really like the way the slits open up on the sides, and I thought that looked really nice. All right, you guys. Phew. go. That's pretty good. What the heck? Let's ham it. <laughs> I'm going to do it anyway when I get off camera. I have a phone call in six minutes though, so I got to be careful. I'm just going to do a little three inch rolled hem. I usually bind this hem. This is a long one. Oh boy, I'm gonna be doing this for a while. This is when learning you have the wrong bobbin in would be such a drag. But I know I have the right one. Well, Unika found us on the on YouTube, so it was working for her or him. I wonder what's up with it and why it's working on some platforms and not others. It definitely seems like a their problem. I'm hoping, maybe that's just wishful thinking on my part. 
you know. I could always add a third streaming option and go on Mixer, but I had never even looked at Mixer until last week because of the, there was a big thing in the gaming world that happened. All right. No twerking. Oh, if I start getting twerking, I may stop because I, I want to fix it. And I'm kind of done, you guys. I'm kind of done. Yeah, this is looking, um, this might be better with a bias faced him. I can stop. I don't want to do this whole him and then not like it. Like, it's okay, but look at that. I'll do better him. I'm just going to stop right there. Yeah, I'm glad I'm stopping right there. I'll do a him later on. I'm going to talk it a little better. Cool, you guys. Let's hope it fits. <laughs> Phew. Yeah, him isn't worthy of the dress. Exactly. That's exactly what I was thinking. I could even do it in the other color, you know, or um, another fabric. So let me think about that. And then this way also, I want to make sure it's the right length. I'm pretty sure it is though, because I looked at my other dresses for that. So yeah, it's got to be worthy. And look at this tension. This tension's not good at all. This tension's not worthy either. Well, thank you so much for sticking with me, you guys. I really appreciate it. That was kind of a struggle. But we learned a lot and uh, we got it done, which is more important, right? We persevered. We learned a few things. And we know invisible zippers. Yeah, I should pr totally pre-iron. I'm just getting ahead of myself because I'm like, I just want to be done. You know what I mean? You guys know what I mean. Of course you know what I mean. Now I'm taking it out. That's how good the tension is. I can just slide it out. Oh, I have weight. I sewed way more than I thought. Here we go. Let's try it here. <laughs> All right, you guys. Um, it was totally worth my troubles. This is going to be one of those great dresses to, to have, you know? It, it looks, it's unique enough to be homemade, but also special enough that I feel like it almost looks ready to wear, you know, like I bought it that way. Because you can't usually find special fabrics with the border prints, you know? They're more more common in the fabric store, but, you know, a lot of them don't really work for garments. Or they're more suited for, like, baby quilts or something like that, so. Well, phew, glad I'm done. There we go. Back to ground zero. See, I always like to do that. Leave it, leave it in a place I don't mind coming back to if there's a problem. So I don't dread it. All right, you guys. <laughs> Time for my gin and tonic. <laughs> Thanks, Brooke. I'm excited. I'm kind of disappointed that my high school, you know, reunion has these, this dress code color thing that I can't wear. I'm going to wear this during the day. I think it'll be fun to have, you know? So. Well, you'll see me tomorrow. I think we're doing the Decades of Style Butterfly Blouse. If we aren't and the fabric doesn't come until tomorrow morning right before, because it says it's supposed to arrive at 10.15, and that is kind of dicey. Um, we will do the refashion it things, and I have a few things on the table behind me that I'm going to refashion or mend or alter. So uh, I, we did one of those recently, and I thought everyone really liked it, and I thought it was kind of fun, and it'll be more chill. But it'll be, I will warn you, it'll be a lot like this, like where I'm going to be troubleshooting, taking things out, and... Um, I have a plan. Let's just hope it works out. I'm glad, Leslie. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be great for San Diego. I hope that's warm enough there. So um, uh, I'm going to rehem my Cali shirt dress, and I'm going to change this shirt I have that I said looked a little hoochie on me. <laughs> I'm going to change it to something else. I think I'm going to change it to a tank. I'm not quite sure yet. I want to use as much of the fabric as possible because it's kind of cool. And then I have a yoke that I want to get you guys' opinion on. I'm gonna look for some fabric today about. And another top. I don't have too many things, but I think they're gonna take enough time. And we can just we can just hang out and talk. And then for sure, 
if we don't do that tomorrow, we'll do it Saturday. Yeah, otherwise, it's the Decades of Style Butterfly Blouse, which would be really fun. That'll be a really fun sew. So, um, and that one's sponsored by Hearts, so that'll be great. All right, you guys. Well, thanks for persevering with me. I really appreciate it. That was a long stream. Sorry for the false starts. I don't know why that YouTube doesn't show for me. Let me see if it's showing me now. Showing now. It doesn't show that I'm streaming to me, which is really weird. Yeah, I'm still not streaming on there. Lovely, lovely. So, um, <laughs> oh man. Okay. Well, have a fantastic rest of your day. See you tomorrow. Asta mañana, iguanas, and um, have a great day. Bye. <laughs>